My name is Milo Mannheim. I'm an actor, but I'm best known for being in the Disney Channel original movie, Zombies. I'm Zed, and yeah, I'm a zombie. Oh, I hope my partner can dance. Please. My name is Whitney Carson. I've been on the show for 10 seasons now, and I've won the mirror ball one time. <gasps> Hi. Hi. I'm Milo. I'm Whitney. Nice to meet you. Nice Bring it in. Nice to meet you. Bring it in. Bring it in. Oh, okay. How are you? I'm really good. Are you excited? Yes. Just met my partner, Whitney. She is awesome. Okay, so tell me about you. I'm still in school. So how old are you then? I'm 17 years old. 17? Yeah. My little brother is 17 years old. My knowledge of zombies is pretty limited. Okay, so I have some questions about zombies. Shoot. Were you dead? Were you not dead? What did you eat? Did you eat brains? Did you cook the brains? How could I tell if I got bit by a zombie? Like, what would happen to me? I don't uh... Do you have a zombie girlfriend? Were you born a zombie? Are there any dance zombie moves that I should know about? I'm not a monster, I'm a zombie. Okay, let's move on. We're gonna get dancing. What are we learning? Cha-cha, okay. Ooh. So, back, front, side, close, side. We go walk, walk. Cha, cha, cha. I am ecstatic that I made it. Seven. Seven. That was amazing. You nailed it. I tried, I tried. We're doing the Charleston okay. for New York City night. So we're gonna start in the subway. And we are subway performers. Okay. Me and New York have a special connection. I did the off-Broadway show, Generation Me. I got to spend time in an amazing city. It won some awards. I won Outstanding Actor. It was an amazing experience. The Charleston is very technical, but it's also very high energy, it requires lots of stamina. It's very lively, upbeat dance. <laughs> Milo's just a kid. There's no way he's gonna have a problem with this dance. He has so much energy. <laughs> We've been working for three minutes and I'm already sweaty. Yo, I am lightheaded. It is 9 a.m. I thought I was young. I thought my body could take it. I was so wrong. It was amazing. Well done. Nice. That was crazy. But we can't get comfortable, you know? That's exactly right. We cannot get comfortable. Let's go. We've got another dance to do, and we cannot lower the bar. It's Vegas night, baby. Woo! But I'm 17. I'm not even legal, so I feel a little excluded. So for Vegas night, we have a tango. Okay. We are dancing a tango to Celine Dion Ashes remix. This serious. is our first serious dance, so it's funny. It's not to me. <laughs> this tango should be super dramatic and serious. So we're really gonna have to switch gears. <laughs> it's really hard to get Milo to be serious. <laughs> you can do it. I can't not laugh. What? I'm sorry, it's just funny. So Milo, what is your most memorable year? My most memorable year is this year, 2018. I'm only 17 years old, but this is definitely my most memorable year. My movie came out, I'm, I'm on this show. I'm graduating from high school this year. I'm trying to get into college. I'm beginning my real life. Yes. And that's pretty exciting. That's so exciting, yeah, I love that. Awesome. From the moment Milo was born, he has been theatrical. He was meant to do this. I feel like I've started a new life this yeah. year. Everything is changing, you know? I'm, I'm like really finding my love for acting. Every day, it's just like a dream. I love acting, it's what I want to spend the rest of my life doing. Zombies was my first movie ever. I had the time of my life, and it was just such a crazy experience. Being Milo's co-star on Disney Zombies was incredible. Milo is so talented and so amazing to work with and really funny. I love entertaining. The best feeling in the world is seeing people smiling at you and enjoying what you're doing, and that's what I love to do. Me and Whitney, AKA Whittles, are doing a jive. This dance is so upbeat, so much energy, so much fun, and I feel like that totally embodies what this year is. This dance is a giant graduation celebration 2018 has been insane. You know, I feel like the luckiest 17 year old in the world. My, we made it to week Woo! four! Give us some of that. What? Hey. Graduated with honor. It was great for that, like, 
moment when we were literally the best. Then Juan Pablo comes in, he gets that 30. So I'm dying to get at least a 10 this week. So guess what week it is? It's trio week! Uh, how many people are dancing this week? Not one. No, no, no. Two? No, not two. Three people are dancing this week! I'm Riker Lynch. I'm an actor and musician. I was a finalist on season 20 of Dancing with the Stars. I'm really, really happy I'm in their trio because... I'm, I'm really, really happy. You're really, really happy. <laughs> Do you have any advice for Milo? You just have to outwork everybody. I'm, I think I'm doing that so far. <laughs> take care of your body because I remember... Oh, like, I'm not doing that. Five, a six, seven, hit, eight. This week, we are doing a salsa. I'm feeling pretty confident in the salsa. That was one of my favorites. How are you feeling, Milo? I'm not feeling confident in the salsa. <laughs> I'm glad that Riker's here because he motivates me to do well. Dang it, we he's good. Out. We lucked out. The salsa is very fast. Six. I think I have whiplash. Whoa. My neck is hurting. Don't you mean you think you have whiplash? Then you guys turn. Don't high five. Sorry, I just, it feels right. This works, okay? Even if we weren't even in this competition, we could be a successful dance trio. Woo! Yeah, dude. This week is Disney week! We made what? it! Yes, we're safe! Well, we got two I tens. only wanted one ten. We got two. Ten! Nine, ten. Ah! It was so Disney California Adventure. Nice. We're gonna go get some inspiration Let's for get our some dance. Inspo. And we're gonna have an incredible yes, we time. Are. I'm excited. Let's Woo! go. Woo! Disney Land! I am so excited to be at Disney California Adventure. Disney gave me my big break, so I owe everything I have to Disney. Milo is a Disney kid, so this is a perfect week for Milo to shine. All right, Maya, we're dancing a quick set to Ooh. a song from the new Incredibles 2 I movie. I love the Incredibles 2 movie. Hi, nice to Hi. meet you. I'm, Milo, I'm Whitney. Huge fan. I met the Incredibles today. They say you don't meet your heroes, but you do. We are actually dancing to a song in your movie. Yes. So I just need you guys' help. I want to be able to look like a hero. So you guys show me some like poses. Oh, oh. love that pose, last ah, girl. We would love to go on the ride. Is that cool? All right, we're going. Come yes. on. I'm excited. Let's go. I'm so oh. excited. Here we go. This oh. ride is going to be incredible. I'm nervous. Quick step requires a ton of energy. Milo has a lot, so I feel like this dance really suits him. Today was incredible, pun intended. Let's Dude. dash to the ballroom. Hey, get it, what? dash? Yes, dash to the ballroom. Right. Let's go. What is this place? Okay, it's week six. Okay. It's Halloween week. All right, this is my week. Yeah? I love creepy. I love the suspense of Halloween. You know, you don't know what's around the corner. I love haunted houses. People are going to jump out at you. I love the rush of Halloween. I don't really get scared. Yes, you do. No, I don't. I really don't. That's funny because, like, a couple days. Ah! OK, touche, touche. That was a good try. Maybe next time. I'll get you. <gasps> Okay, we'll get there. Nope, still we'll no. Get there. We'll get there. Okay, so the song that we're dancing to this week is a really creepy version of Toxic. It's gonna be perfect for Halloween. I'm into it. The creative behind it is really creepy. You're in an insane asylum, and your mind is meshing with you, and you're battling hallucinations. So can you pull this off for me? Watch. This contemporary dance is extremely creepy. Probably the creepiest dance I've ever choreographed. This type of dance is just a whole different category from everything me and Whitney have done so far. It's strange. It's just such a disturbing dance. It's for sure put me in a weird mood. Did you hear that? Hi, what are you looking at? No, I, th I thought I saw something. Creepy, okay. I think the dance is starting to mess with his head. One, two, three, four. No, stop. I feel like I'm starting to see things. I'm starting to hear weird things. Let's go again. Hi, that was perfect. No, it's not good. Let's do it again. What is going on with him? Really starting to creep me out. Yes, 
first of many, hopefully. What I so respect about you is the way you were absolutely in control. It's a jam! Okay. We set the bar very high for ourselves with that 30, and now we gotta keep getting to that bar every week. So you ready to be a country boy this week? I'm ready to be a country boy. We've got a foxtrot this week. There's a lot to do. Are you Let's ready? saddle the horse, baby. I love country music so much. It really just gets you in the heart. When I got married, our first dance was a country song called Must Be Doing Something Right by Billing Currington. Slow. Quick, quick. I don't know much about country music, but I'm a pretty musical guy. I've been playing instruments since I was a little kid, and sometimes I'll even write a song here or there. Whitney loves country music, so I got a surprise for her. Whitney, I wrote you a country song. What? A Utah girl and a Venice man, and she would teach him how to dance, and he tried real hard, cause he never thought he would ever be on TV doing the foxtrot. Her legs were short, but his legs were long. His skills were weak, but her faith was strong. And he said to her, he'd risk it all to be able to give her that mirror ball. Oh my Woo! God, that's so good! I that for was you. so good! Mm, love you. Oh. After last week's Halloween show, we picked our teams for team bands. So we're the team captains because we're at the bottom. And I chose the Marcus first. And I chose Milo. Then I picked Juan Pablo. I wanted John on my team. I picked him next. And then I completed the team by choosing Alexis. And I finished my team out with Ivana. My team is Joe Down. So we are Team Hey Now. Well, Bob, showtime. Nobody calls me Bob. <laughs> Later, sucker. <laughs> I'm the worst dancer on our team. However, I think that a, a, a team is the sum of all the parts. And so when I put people on our team, I wanted people that would get along well. I am super pumped about this song. Yeah. We have the sure. classic Nine to Five by Dolly Pop. Yes! You're gonna get real dizzy, I'm sorry. So it's the same leg, one, two. If I'm teaching somebody how to dance, you know there's a problem. I don't even know how to count it right. You know how to count it right? No. We're working so many more hours than nine to five getting ready for country night. We can just jump like this. We can go. Yeah, it might seem like we're just having fun and milking cows over here, but this stuff is real. One, two, three, and four, and five, and six. Team Joe Down is going down. I came on this show thinking I would only make it like four or five weeks in. So the fact that I'm here, I can't even comprehend it. I want this more than I've ever wanted anything in my life. This week is a big week, so who are you dedicating this dance to? I gotta obviously dedicate this dance to my mom. My mom is Cameron Manheim. She's an actress best known for The Practice and Ghost Whisperer. No one even comes close to having the impact on me that my mom had. My whole life has just been me and my mom in the same house, and she raised me all by herself. My mom is a single mom, and I am an only child, so it's just me and her, and we have a very close bond. She's the person I feel safe with. She's the person that I can come home to and kind of just, like, let everything all out. She's, like, everything to me. I sometimes I feel like I don't show her how grateful I am to have her, and I think that this is the perfect opportunity, too. Mom, this week we get to dedicate a dance to someone that is very important to us. And I would never have made it this far in the competition. I wouldn't have made it this far in life if it wasn't for you. So of course I'm gonna be dedicating my dance to you. Come on. Really? <laughs> yeah. Of course. Thank you so much. <laughs> She's oh already God. crying. <laughs> yes, I am. This really means a lot to me. I feel like I won the lottery when you were born. Oh, stop. Get over here. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, come on. Mm. Now get into a good college. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> this dance is going to be really important because this is the last dance before the finale. Wow, that's a lot of pressure. It is a lot of pressure. Yes. Is that stressful? Yeah, a little bit. Hey! Oh! Hey! Oh my God! <laughs> I'm really happy that I got Carrie Ann. It's just crazy how one person can know so much about dance. 
chosen the cha-cha for you because it was what you did on week one. And you were good, but you're so much better now. Yeah. The biggest problem that I saw, your arms were really wonky. Remember, something was stirring. That week one cha-cha was a bit out of control. He just didn't quite know how to work with his body yet. This time, I need Milo to be fully in control. Do you have anything you can show me? Bounce, bounce, and slide, and hop, two, and stretch. OK, there. There has to be more negative space here. We've seen this in seasons past, where people that are very tall and have really long limbs sometimes struggle with fully extending themselves and using the space. I'm noticing you closing off a little bit and getting a little small because you're, you're going down. I think you need to keep open. See you Monday. Good luck. Thanks, Carrie Ann. See you. This is the last chance I have to show everybody that I belong in the finale. That's insane. I could make it to the finale. <laughs> Woo! We oh, made it to the God. finale. Can you believe this? No. I, you know what? This I'm so incredible. proud of us. I'm very proud of you. If we win, you're going to be the youngest male to ever win Dancing with the and Stars. And if we win, you'll be the shortest female to ever win Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> just kidding. I just kidding. I'm such a brat. <laughs> it sounds so cheesy, but this has been more meaningful to me than anything else that's happened in my life. That's not cheesy. When I was like seven years old, me and my mom would sit down and watch this show. So the fact that I made it to the finale is the coolest thing ever. The most memorable dance I want us to redo is our week two Charleston because yeah, I feel like I love that that's one. when people started taking me seriously as a dancer. Mm -hmm. Dancing with you has been so fun this season. Mm -hmm. Week six when we did that contemporary, that's when it went from just kind of being here, enjoying the ride, yeah. to really wanting that mirror ball. All I can think of is you're the one to be. Milo has shown so much growth. I feel like I really have done some of my best work with Milo. I really don't get partners like you, and I just want to thank you. I just feel like this is a huge turning point in my life. There's so many things in my life right now that are changing. You really turn into like a young man, and you're ready just to take on the world. I am ready. last dance together. This is the freestyle. It's the most important dance of the entire season. It's got to be huge. I like that idea. In this freestyle, there's a lot of crazy dance moves, a lot of tricks, and a lot of props. Seven, eight, one. Props leaves a lot of room for error. So if we can pull this off seamlessly, it will be amazing. This is our last dance yeah. ever. I know, it's This sad. whole journey. It's bittersweet. Whitney's been like my best friend for the past three months. And she's my family now. Not having Whitney to laugh with every day, not having these dances to dance every day, it's gonna suck. You may be Whitney to everyone else, but you're always gonna be my widows. Oh, God. All good things come to an end. Why does it have to be like that?